today and uh, I thought it'd be fun if I just kind of like take you guys on a like how I'm prepping for baby or how I'm kind of prepping my body for baby I just left my second appointment which you guys have seen so my first appointment this morning was the chiropractor and then I just left my personal trainer appointment and now I am headed to my physical therapy appointment and so but I'm not in normal physical therapy so this appointment that I'm headed to is actually pelvic floor therapy and it is very different from anything that I have ever done in physical therapy before or anything that I've ever learned or been recommended or anything like that but I absolutely love it it is strictly related to the pelvic floor and those muscles right those internal muscles that really help to push out the baby those muscles that cause incontinence which if you don't know what that is that's like when you can't hold your bladder you have to pee and you can't really hold it that's what that is so pelvic floor after you have a baby if you guys have had children then you probably know this but if you haven't had children um then you don't know that like if that baby comes out that vaginal canal it stretches all all that stuff right so that's how tears happen that's how um incontinence is kind of birthed different stuff like that just from the the stretching of those muscles and if you don't do anything to recover them then they just kind of stay that way and so i didn't know that if you've never heard of it um one i highly recommend it for especially uh pregnant moms or if you had a baby and have never considered like reconstructing down there if you had any issues if labor was intensive um anything like that if your baby came through the vaginal canal especially then uh, i definitely highly 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 recommend it basically it's um part of the appointment so it's a one hour i have a one hour appointment the first part of the appointment, either the first or the last, the first part of the appointment is spent, um, you know, kind of doing um, internal work. And what I mean by that is they take you into a private room and basically like, I mean, it's, it's as invasive as a pap smear, I will say, but the objective is different, right? So pap smear, they go in, they swab, they come out, whatever. And with pelvic floor therapy, they go in and they tell you like, okay, these are the muscles that she used, right? And so she kind of is touching, guiding me from the inside. You know, the Kegel is the contraction, then the reverse Kegel is the release. And that's where a lot of women like miss things or whatever. Cause yes, you practice your Kegels, but do you practice like that passing gas motion at the same time, you know? And then the breathing technique, especially for moms that are pregnant, gonna have a baby, the breathing technique is really um, profound and to be honest with you, it's difficult. I've been coming here for probably about four, four to five weeks I've been coming here. So that's the first half. The first half is kind of the internal work. And then the second half, they kind of take you into the open bay where they do regular lower body exercises and stuff like that. So I'm going to see if I can get away with recording today like I did with my personal training appointment. And that way, um, one, I can have them for myself. But then two, you guys can kind of see what I do a little bit. I'm excited to share it with you guys. I really want to do everything that I can to bring a healthy baby into this world like you know to well to get through the marathon of labor in a healthy way Malachi's labor was very um it was an experience it was traumatic I'm so glad that I was able to get him out vaginally but I felt pressure from the doctor at the very end and that made me uncomfortable and I just kind of fear that that same thing is going to happen again um I've never told that story on here but I was in labor for 35 hours with Malachi um 27 of which I had no epidural no medicine I did a birth center birth and so you know medicine wasn't an option right but at the last minute I did transfer to the hospital because um, it was recommended by my midwives that you know labor wasn't progressing everybody was exhausted not just me but like all of my help right <laughs> my mom my husband's mom my two midwives or it was a midwife midwife student my husband 
and a friend of ours anyway that's another story for another time but what i'm trying to say is i don't want that to happen again okay so i'm pulling up now to my appointment and i'm gonna get in here you guys so i'll take you guys in here with me so I'm back I just got out of my pelvic floor therapy <sighs> I put some of the exercises in here some of the work that she had me doing I definitely feel like I'm getting like a workout in for sure so I kind of like stack I stacked everything onto today and then I'll do everything on my own the rest of the week I um, definitely plan on working on this stuff at home but my main premise really for recording it was so that I could show you guys. So you're welcome. Anyway, so I'm headed back to the house, but I just wanted to bring you guys along with me just to kind of show you what my routine looks like on any given day during this third trimester. Y'all, we're moving. This trend is moving. Oh my gosh. And also I calculated yesterday. Y'all, I am under the 90 day mark today marks 81 days <sighs> 81 days till i get my body back okay i'm just teasing no <laughs> kind of so sorry not sorry um 81 days until baby if baby comes on due date but we're praying that the baby comes early this baby is not gonna come in july it's gonna come in june in jesus name do you understand like we have an agreement going on here okay we have an agreement so another thing that I have concluded y'all is that my clothes like it is time I know I wear this shirt all the time this is probably the third video I know this is the third video in a week that I've shot wearing this shirt but I just don't have any clothes that fit I really don't so I wore the same exact thing to the gym last Monday um but it's to the point now where i think i'm gonna invest in a few maternity outfits like i said i have a couple more months but y'all my clothes are just not fitting anymore i am headed home to see what the family's got going on and then um get on with the rest of the day what is up you guys i came on here really quick i just hopped in the back seat as you can see um to do this intro really quick so today is my glucose test today is um april 11th i'm 28 weeks and four days and i um it's time for me to do my glucose test so i'm actually headed into the hospital right now they make you come an hour before the appointment to drink the stuff 
and then you get your and then you wait an hour and then you get your blood drawn and so i don't know if my results come back today but i just wanted to kind of come on here and share this experience and have this memory to look back on and so um but anyways i'll see you guys on the inside and i'll update you guys on how the stuff tastes i didn't i don't remember having to do this last time i think it was an at-home test though but i did have Mal malachi on the military's dime so this is like totally ba related so anyways i'll talk to you guys in a little bit Hi guys, I'm back. So I just got out of my appointment. I just got out of my appointment and the glucose drink was not bad. I know you guys saw me, um, saw me drinking and saw me pouring it up and stuff. It wasn't bad. It tasted just like fruit punch. Um, I did get it over ice. I didn't know that was an option, but she said, do I want it over ice? She gave me three options. She said fruit punch, lemon, lime, or orange. And of course I'm like, well, fruit punch. I typically like fruit punch and it wasn't bad. She asked me if I wanted it over ice. I said, yes. And so I drank it over ice and um you get five minutes to drink the drink the nurse told me five minutes to drink the drink and then um you have to sit in the lobby for an hour and wait because they're going to call you back so i just sat there and i met this lady in the lobby and we both were there for a glucose test or whatever we actually like 10 minutes apart we actually sat out there and talked the whole time and um, she's due on july 4th i'm due on june 30th so it's really interesting to see kind of like parallel our journeys um, she has a 10 year old and I'm about to have a five year old. So it's just really cool. She also has a boy. She's having another boy. And I told her, I said, well, I don't know what I'm having. Um, and so she was like, Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. So yeah. So we're both like, we're swelling up and we we're just really talking and stuff. So it was really good. She told me about this recipe that I really want to put in here before I forget. She said she was watching this. I don't know if it was a TikTok or something, but she was watching this video of this guy and he made this bowl. She's like, she really likes eggs. And she made this bowl and she said it was rice, Greek yogurt, scrambled eggs, cheese. And then she puts like salsa on top of it. And at first I was like, that sounds absolutely disgusting. But the more I think about it, it just really sounds like, like perfect actually. <laughs> it sounds like a Mexican dish, like a bowl, like a, a bowl. You know, you put, instead of putting chicken in it, you would just put eggs and it just sounds like a Mexican rice dish, you know? So I'm like, the Greek yogurt kind of threw me off at first, but if it's plain Greek yogurt, it's kind of like a sour cream substitute. So it's, I would definitely eat that. So I'm going to try it and I will definitely let you guys know. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this little mini vlog experience and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.